Ya, 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 ya. <laughs> Hello there. Well, let's see. Priorities, right? We're trying to do a lot of listing. You know, you always have to do listing in this business. So I'm teaching Kate to list oddball items all over the map, all kinds of things. And I'm going to show a few of them off today on The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. Dealer here again with the Crazy Picker Life. Relaxing a little bit edition. <laughs> so... Uh, fresh beer is good. I'm sitting in my nook. I've got a nook. I'm trying to get hardwired in the house. I don't like all that Wi-Fi zapping us all the time. So it's pretty nice. This is a nice little space here. We have a nook. And sometimes we eat breakfast. Sometimes we have coffee. You can have one-on-one -on -one meetings, one-on-two -two meetings, two-on-two. -two. It's pretty nice. It's actually one of the things, it's hooked to our kitchen. It's one of the things I really like about this house. So uh, I've been filming a little bit out of sequence. Yesterday we did some listing. Today we did some listing. I'm about to put out some more items to show you. I want to show you some of the cool items that we're bringing through our system and part of what has allowed me to buy cool items is we have a consistent flow of bread and butter items and in reality it's our camera stuff and that allows me to really pick and choose good items when I'm out of good items I list camera stuff when I find good items I list good items so let me just show you some of those. I did go picking today and picked up a camera and a bowling ball. I'm going to show that. And then we did 10 items. I laid those out yesterday and those are all listed. And I'm going to show you 10 more towards the end of the video that we'll probably be listing today and tomorrow with Kate. She's doing really well. Now she's been taking pictures for me for a while, but I'm teaching her to list from top to bottom. So that's that's what we want. Whew. Bucks play tonight, NBA first game against Toronto. Gonna watch that. Went for a run today in the 86 degree heat. That felt good. <laughs> All those things happen. All right, but right now, that's that. Time to relax. Okay, we pulled uh, 10 more cool items to list. I'm trying to get uh, some of the bigger, heavier, cooler items out. And we run out of table space, so then on the end we got some smaller items. Uh, this is a sewing machine. It's a FAF, P-F-A-F-F, -F, I believe. I don't have the model number. We pulled this out of a cabinet, as I may have mentioned, and chucked the cabinet nobody wanted to pay shipping for the whole thing even though it had a seat in there and a cabinet and it was all in there in pretty good shape i don't know what this will sell for these things typically sell pretty well i paid 50 bucks uh, that particular brand they restore for whatever reason i i think they put it in commercial applications for sewing uh, canvas and things like that this came out of a local store that closed. Wheeler picked it up. It is a Nike swish sign. It has the attachment so it can go in some sort of retail peg-like shelving. It's two-sided. Two it hangs out. It's really cool. Uh, that's going to go really well. That's a good piece. I think we paid 20 or 30 bucks for it. It's going to go for over 100 well over 100 uh, I don't know what these ASICs or ASICs signs are going to go for. Uh, again, they fit on some sort of a shoe 
display their metal they have a little age to them they're high quality retail fixture signs we'll probably list them separately this is a really good find you can look this up this is a shoe thing where the person sits on it and then you puts your shoes on this thing flips out I don't know if that's for their feet I guess uh, Reebok the wheels work it's got some scratches this is a great piece I think we paid 20 bucks I think we'll get 400 ish it's really a good it's a good piece it is a pain to ship I already mentioned this set up with the bottles or whatever I offered this local lady who called me 80 bucks if she wanted to do cash which would double my money if she wanted to come get it she declined i think she was feeding me a load of bs i think she's a reseller and just didn't want to admit it i don't know what she wanted i paid 40 i'm not gonna you know give it up for 50. i think i can sell this for 100 or 120 plus shipping online as it sits all of it together gonna sell it a lot it's got a couple extra tops and a couple good bottles and a nice carrier so that's that picked up a playstation for 20 bucks unknown playstation 3 i don't know what we're going to sell that for we're going to list that zebco that's a new in package 202 paid seven bucks uh probably will be 25 or 30 dollars and along with those thermometers was a metal rain gauge no idea what that'll go for but it certainly has some age manhattan kansas whenever you start getting phone numbers that don't look like your regular phone numbers we had one that was three digit this is a five digit eight three four two one i don't know what phone pr exactly means but i guess pr for perina <laughs> so anyway cool little piece and then this is a dealership car it's got the dealership information underneath kind of a caprice or something I can't read that through the camera here but really nice condition I bundled this uh, I think probably paid 20 bucks for it and it'll be at least a doubler I like the dealership cars they gave those as promos to people that either bought or look or looking at a car okay so that's what we're listing now uh, what do you call it Burlington all whatever. right Sam went to the counter to oh, get a cool. price check on the 2008 or 2006 Lowe's racing team bowling ball yeah it's pretty neat and of course we'll probably throw off the bag we'll look for $20 bills in there first yep and I got a polishing cloth and stuff in there three bucks right Sam mm -hmm. and then uh, when Wheeler goes to get the camera it was how much 75 and when dealer goes a couple days later to get the camera it's marked down to 30. yeah well, like it, well a couple days up. later i mean it's been three weeks or something three weeks wow <laughs> i must have had the timing yep it was that's what i was out. saying i mean i saw it a couple days ago but and an 81 program with didn't a look at it a second lens. time yep and a flash and a hippie, hippie strap i thought it was a driver in there too but yeah, yeah, hippie strap. yeah some sort that ain't worth nothing uh, nope not, not, that not in that condition it's all corroded Anything else in there dice Nice. I'll take them. Whoa. Nice. What did it come up? Oh, five, five. Five. Whoa. There you go. Look, got the eye cup down in there. Wow. All what the manuals. This? Big money. Big money. So what's a A1 nice. program that? They're down a bit, but at the peak they're going for like 130 for the setup. As is, like right there, probably 100 at least, easy. Yeah. So that turns out to be good. Yep. And that's a good quick day seller. locally. Super. Okay, here's uh, some items we're working on. Kate has been looking up these uh, RCA Select Vision discs, and she liked how these dudes, these REO Speedwagon dudes, looked live in Fidelity REO Speedwagon in concert. She liked it. You said they were a bunch of what? Weirdos. Weirdos and losers. Mostly because they had weird tight pants back then, but... And we got this cool book, Hummingbird book. Yeah, that looks cool. It's pretty cool. People are trying to get $100 or more on Amazon. And, and on 50 Etsy. bucks. 50 bucks. Let's see they're trying to get 250 Right, so it's got cool pictures of hummingbirds. I don't pick up many books. But we'll probably list it for like $29.99 plus media mail. We got this uh, untested RCA player. I don't know if we'll be able to 
hook it up. I'd like to, but I don't know. It's probably just a, a jack of some kind out. We'll figure that out. We'll sell all these in a the lot. We don't have any spectacular ones. Some of you have already seen the huge rocket. We're going to list that up. Now this, I can almost guarantee, is something that nobody has seen because I've never seen it. I didn't even know it existed. This is the largest nose whistle set you can buy anywhere. Straight from Brazil. We have over 20 separate individually handcrafted nose whistles along with documentation unbelievable uh, there is the master himself there he is doing the nose whistle unbelievable it looks like he's uh, eating his boogers but he has a whole plate platter of nose whistles ready to go this probably belongs in a museum which are the Wheeler, nose whistles your, there? your comment. I don't know. It's would you Would you like to try a nose whistle? No, I think I'm good. Okay, so that is quite a set. Where do you pick that up but Northwest Kansas? Oh, let's see. we got a couple more boats, and I like this one the best. <clears throat> Not sure why. Didn't pay the most for this one, but... Got a real motor back there. It's wooden like that. Uh, the hummingbird diagram. Wow. What are we, what's on the bottom there? <laughs> Topographia di Lopez. Yeah. Magnifica. And then this boat is pretty nice as well. It's in the. It's in the. Oh, oh. It's in the box. It is a model motorboat but it is a sake something anyway another nice cool boat this i already talked about on a previous video flash pack this is the one for diesel trucks it looks like it's uh, 150 or more dollars which is really good these are head tennis rackets they look like they need to be reworked and a bunch of vintage wood rackets that we got from a local store uh i think i paid 30 bucks for all these three four five six seven 30 bucks for all those 25 for that too much for boats oh no paid too much for boats probably a eh, hundred for these boats i don't know i'll make money on those uh 75 for the rca player and at least I don't know how many discs are there. 50. Nose whistles, 20 bucks. Rocket, I don't know, 10 bucks. And then the reveal. We're going to list this tomorrow as well. What in the world is that? Any guesses? 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 It's better than it looks. I'll give you a hint. It came from an athletic store. It's wide. It's not the poster version that everybody's after. It's on a hard foam. That's right. It is Michael Jordan. And it is Wings original from somewhere in the mid to late 90s. Yes, yes hard to ship that's for sure because you can't roll it it's on a foam board and it came that way and it was issued to certain uh, athletic stores that sold Nike footwear and there it is I paid 100 bucks for that and it will sell for at least double that probably probably more if I can ship it and I hope to Okay, so short short episode. We got a lot of other things going on in the background this week. Uh, just trying to get organized. You know, there's just so much with the house and the other house. We have two houses now, and we want to get rid of one. 
And what else? Oh, just trying to put things where they belong, keep systems in place, keep stuff selling, orders going out, stuff coming in. Pick while this stuff and... What? Pick your note. They said, my comments said that you guys were so well-behaved and well-adjusted children. My daughter says, pick your nose list often. I don't know what that means. Dealer out. He's following us. What? Are you following us around? Yeah. Why are these things following us? I don't know. 